Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus, June 8, 2022. Energy may be on the low side in spots today, and responsibilities feel heavier than usual. Things or others may not quite live up to your expectations, but as the day moves forward, so does your mood with a fortunate sunshine aspect in play, helping you learn from your differences. You find more satisfaction and fulfillment in and from your work or projects. Whether emotional or practical, your approach to problems is holistic and intuitive. Instincts for money and business are excellent. Happily, you're feeling more purposeful. Despite being governed by security-seeking Venus, cultivating stability is an ongoing theme in your spiritual journey. Single? You could be in the process of contemplating your next steps in a romantic connection and yet second-guessing yourself in the process. Granted, today's challenging sextile between the sun and the wounded healer, Chiron, will do the trick. Still, by that same token, this is an opportunity to confront a repressed wound and fear. Unfortunately, communication can also feel burdensome or stifled when considering the moon's square to Mercury. But again, this is all the more reason to move past the drama. Expect to feel notably courageous while the moon blazes in Leo today. You could be fixated on personal goals and odd jobs around your house during this bright lunation. Be confident in your capabilities as you move through your personal projects at home. It may feel kind of weird to prioritize your domestic duties over professional obligations. But since the moon squares the lunar nodes in Taurus and Scorpio, it could be worthwhile. You should use this determined lunation to work on your goals so that you can knock off things on your to-do list. This time last week the moon hadn't even returned to your income sector ahead of a new moon that has given income potential the kind of momentum that you are still benefiting from. Yet missing is any kind of urgency and instead, with Mercury and Venus returning over the course of the month to make things happen, the sun is giving you time to explore your options. Take a relaxed view of life and let grass grow over old feuds. Enjoy reviving old contacts and wallowing in nostalgia. The conditions are ideal, as you will be receiving a lot of trust and affection. Let your family know how important they are to you and spend more time with them. Skydiving is the ideal metaphor for how to start your day. You're going to be full of energy and faced with big, brave, bold opportunities everywhere you look. What you want seems to be magically in tune with the people you meet and socialize with. You feel a strong sense of identity and flirt with whoever you meet or find appealing. Others are content to listen to what you have to say and you benefit equally from their response, enjoying connections you make. Giving into that which makes your power grow is a good idea. This certainly involves movement of some kind. Any kind of exercise that gets your heart rate up while stretching your limbs is recommended, running, Bikram yoga, Ashtanga yoga, Pilates, etc. Competitive sports are not recommended today, as your energy might be affected adversely by the win-lose dynamic. Take your time before you speak, you will be able to have a way with words if you know exactly what you want. Making some plans to get together with friends or family, if possible, can make this day go much smoother. The essence of a vibration strives to bring balance to your life, by adding a touch of light-hearted fun to the day, even if you have to do it on your own. Focusing on work can be tough when this is happening, but plans can be the light at the end of the tunnel. If you know you're going to have some fun later, and you keep as busy as possible, the time is sure to go faster, as well. After a friendly aspect to Venus in Taurus yesterday, the moon moves into the same aspect to Mercury there today, just five days after his direct turn. As well as bringing together a mix of intuition and logic, imagination and intelligence, this is the friendly nudge that can get things moving again after a Mercury retrograde phase that can leave you feeling sluggish. Above all, this will stimulate both your mind and your imagination allowing you to not only get your head back in the game but excited about moving things forward. This could even reignite your creative spark. After a friendly aspect to Venus, the planet of love in Taurus yesterday, 
as the moon continues with its transit through your romantic sector it forms a friendly aspect to the rest of the planets there today. This will continue to boost both your romantic confidence and the spirit of romance itself, but just days after Mercury's direct turn, this can also make it easier to give your heart a voice. Our eyes in the sky. With smart Mercury and money-focused Venus both in financially savvy Taurus today, you've got money on the brain in the best possible way. With these two important planetary powers soaking up the bull's fiscal savvy, you can make some real power moves when it comes to improving your bottom line. As long as you're not in a hurry, that is. Because this energy isn't about getting rich quick, it's about looking into good, solid investments that will pay off in the long run. If someone comes to you with a too-good-to-pass-up opportunity, let them know you're interested but you'll have to think about it. And then do some serious research. If they're legit, they'll give you the time you need, but if they're trying to scam you, they'll try to rush you into making a bad decision. Luckily, with all this practical Taurus energy surrounding you today, you know better than that. Late in the afternoon, the moon squares Mercury in Taurus, stimulating self-doubt. Questioning our personal rationale creates seeds of unrest, making us moody. We might not even realize the true source of our angst at this time, we are only able to understand it in hindsight. Yet this confrontation is helpful, as it forces us to re-examine our biases and how our behaviors inform our choices. We still have about two weeks until Mercury exits its post-retrograde shadow, making this a perfect occasion to cover old ground and adjust how we respond to familiar triggers. The moon then falls into a void of course lasting for the rest of the day, suggesting we take this time for self-reflection. The cosmic weather is quiet today until the Leo moon opposes Saturn in Aquarius, generating resistance. It might be difficult to communicate without fear or guilt creeping into our consciousness. On the other hand, we might literally be prevented from expressing ourselves by virtue of authority figures standing in our way. The best course of action is to look at our situation objectively instead of allowing it to wound our pride. Yes, right now, we are stalled. How can denial serve as a teacher? What can we learn from this moment if our immediate response isn't to assign blame for our disappointment? Instead of drawing unnecessary lines in the sand that will be hard to retract later, allow yourself to feel your feelings fully so you can make sense of them in a mature fashion. 